Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica from Jessica's Art Restraint. Thanks for joining me. Um, I'm sorry for not being able to post every week as I usually did. Um, it, November has been a hectic day, what with Nano Remo <laughs> and um, getting packed and ready to go to Newcastle to see my partner and to spend Christmas and New Year with him. But unfortunately, less than a week later I had to go home due to a family crisis on my partner's side but yeah considering I'm home now I thought I should share with you my travel art supplies be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you take um, which art supplies you take for traveling so this well I was gonna say it's mesh case it looks like mesh but it's not a mesh case it's um, a, it's a strong sturdy plastic case and um, I was originally going to get the large case, but it was too big. <laughs> so this is the medium size case. So I, so I would not carry too little with me or too much. This is the exact size I needed to take my art supplies with me. I'm not carrying too much or too little. I have everything I need right in here. So without further ado, let's empty it out and show you what I bring with me okay totally clean empty um, now this case I still have the label on it don't ask me why <laughs> but it's really really cheap it's well it's super strong zip bag for multi-purpose made with water resistant material and yeah it's only 2 dollars as well so it was really really affordable so we're gonna chuck that to the side there we go <laughs> um, now what do we have here um, I'll start with the bigger things first. Um, so I'm very into um, water soluble art supplies. So this is the graphite tint, the set of twelve by Derwent. Um, unfortunately, the D um, the Derwent materials are not light fast, so I tend to not use them as much. But it's good for, but they are good for. Um, for experimental drawings these are tinted graphite pencils I had the charcoal but but after a while of using them I I remembered how much I didn't like charcoal so I gave them away to a friend but yeah these are really earthy tones and really really pretty and they're good for experimental drawing in my moleskin watercolour notebook I haven't included this in my in my um, sketchbook accountability video because I've forgotten about it <laughs> but yeah I um, if you would like me to do a flip through of this when I finished it then please let me know but yeah um, moleskin is a very popular brand of sketchbook and it's strong it's sturdy and I love it I'm sorry if I if I sound congested guys because I am <laughs> but yeah please bear with me I have the um, Cotman watercolors box from Windsor and Newton I tend to use Windsor and Newton when it comes to um, watercolors that's pretty much the only brand I use <laughs> um, but yeah there, there are um, 12 half pans in here and it's a travel box as well, so it's strong, sturdy, and perfect for travel. And what I use for watercolours and water-soluble work are these Pentel brush pens. Th these are great for travel as well. Well, obviously, you know, travel art supplies, right? <laughs> but, um, yeah, just fill them up with water and squeeze the barrel to put, um, to put water onto the page and also... These come in three sizes as well. For me, the, these came in a pack of three. Perfect for travel. There are they've had water in them since six months ago. <laughs> so in this um, Derwent pouch, I got this for two pound fifty in a charity shop, and 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 this is usually what five pounds or seven pound fifty on Amazon. But yeah, this is from Derwent. Also, it's like a little canvas wrap. In here, I keep my Koinor, Koinor, please correct me if I'm not pronouncing it right. Um, coloured pencils I've had since college. 
these are pretty much water soluble well watercolor pencils pretty much so you can either use them dry or with water there are a few oranges a red a yellow a few browns a few greens a few blues a purple and a black i tend to keep a small palette with me wherever i go as well in case well not during travel but but whenever i'm in a different well, wherever I am, except for travel, I tend to keep a palette with me in case I would I fancy doing acrylic painting. When it comes to being an artist, it can you tend to have a scatterbrain thought. <laughs> well, scatterbrain mind rather, like you want to do this and now you want to do that, like just loads of experimenting with different things. I have a few pens, <laughs> not for artwork or anything, but I tend to lose pens, so I tend to keep a little back stock with me in case I lose a pen. The erasers that I use is the Karainor Hardmuth, Hardma I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry, <laughs> is just a standard eraser. And this one I got from Amazon a year or two ago and it's really really held up. I've used it a lot but wow. <laughs> this is from Faber Castell, it's the art eraser dust free like barely any um, dust from this eraser goes on the page so it's kind of a mess free eraser oh I've forgotten to tell you this as well um, when it comes to watercolor or water soluble pencils I tend to keep this with me it's a kinder egg container yeah um, this has salt in it and um, um, sea salt I keep sea salt in this um, it's a great way of um, carrying salt with you because of the very tight fitting case well tight fitting top rather and yeah um salt is a great effect to use in watercolor it's really really pretty can create some great effects with that as well and i keep a tiny little moleskin sketchbook in my bag so i don't i don't take it with me in this case but it just i just take it around in my everyday handbag and I use that moleskin sketchbook for urban sketching, and this is usually for urban sketching as well. The Faber-Castell pack of six artist pens in different shades of grey. Good for value work. The pencils I take with me, I usually take a mechanical pencil, but considering I have these from a schooler box about a year ago, <laughs> um, it's a pack of six <laughs> i thought it was a pack of four it just comes with a standard sharpener and these are the derwent graphic pencils these are my favorite pencils seriously they hold up really well you don't have to sharpen them much even though the most even though the pencil i have used the most is the hb <laughs> for outline work these are my favorite pencils so much and it comes in a sturdy little tin as well which is fun and last but not least um, for graphite drawings, in order to fix them, I use I used to use hairspray, which I know is really bad. It's a hair product, and over time, when it comes to using hairspray, um, the pages tend to yellow, and it doesn't um, preserve the drawing. So, <laughs> about six months ago or so, I bought the Windsor and Newton Professional Fixative Spray for its protects drawings from smudging and from dust and it preserves it properly it's a professional product as well so i highly highly recommend it it's suitable for pastel drawings charcoal drawings and graphite and that's it <laughs> thanks so much for watching guys i hope you all enjoy don't forget to let me know below in the comments what which art supplies you take for traveling i would love to know um don't forget to link, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will try and upload more regularly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, these are my travel art supplies. So, I've showed you mine. Now, let's see yours. Thanks, guys. Bye.